Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Well, hey, looks like that we could possibly have what we call some form of justice in the land. I always wonder why it takes so long because this particular act took place in 2012, and here we are in 2014, and I'd say the middle of 2014 before justice can prevail. You remember some time ago I did a video showing how that this um, state trooper in Texas uh, did an illegal roadside cavity search of a woman. I mean, you can clearly see it vivid on this video. This woman has got her hands deep down in the backside of this other woman's pants. Well, my question is this. What would happen or how many other injustices are going on today that are never, ever caught simply because it is the people's words against these so-called, and I looked at this article for a section, you know, for a second, excuse me, calling them peace officers, you know, and I'm utterly amazed at that, but, but how many injustices that are perpetuated on a continual basis that go on that are simply the people's word against the so-called peace officers words that never ever get recorded and they continue to go on and go on until they get caught. Amazing enough, fired state trooper pleads guilty after 2012 roadside cavity search. North Texas, CBS 11 News, a fire state trooper has received two years probation and surrendered her peace officer license after conducting an illegal cavity search of two women on the side of a North Texas highway nearly two years ago. The former trooper Kelly Henson, Hellison, pleaded guilty to two charges of official oppression, a Class A misdemeanor. In other words, as part of the plea bargain with the Dallas County District Attorney's Office, prosecutors dropped sexual assault charges against Henson. I would have pushed it. I would have pushed it, and I would have pressed it hard just in order to make... Um, um, You know, just, just in order to set precedence from this wicked stuff, it's like a few years ago, here in 2008, um, we had Elder Doug and Sister Diane, all right, and, and they were parked. No, they weren't, they weren't parked. Traffic was stopped on Highway 52. And you have to understand, in our country, this is all about how much money people have, how much money they have, and how much money the corporations have, because the United States is a corporation, so they're going to protect the best interests of the corporation. And of course, Walmart can, can pay, you know, these high-powered, so-called high-powered, uh, wicked lawyers. And of course, they, they, they had Baker Donaldson represent them uh, here in Nashville uh, as defense attorneys. Uh, now, I'm sure they wanted to settle out of court out of case, but there was just too much fishy stuff underlining and a lot of cover-up, um, which was just bad. I mean, which I think that you know, the attorney should have delved in, a, you know, a little bit deeper. But you know how it is when the people are trying to push the attorneys to do something, they got their minds made up to do certain things. But there ain't no justice in this land unless you got money. But what happened was is that this Walmart truck driver at 55-something miles an hour with 70-something thousand pounds of, of, of load on his truck, he plows into the back of traffic. Now, I mean, plows into it. No, didn't start hitting the brakes until after you hear the crashing. It killed a Methodist minister and his family of four. Uh, it, 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 it maimed Elder Doug and Diane for life. And they barely got out of it um, through prayer and everything. We went down there. And, and it's just utterly amazing. Utterly amazing. But you know that truck driver did not do one day in jail? Now, you go out here and you plow into somebody and kill them. And see if you don't be cleaning a cup behind bars. If you can even get off. Um, and these people don't literally have no conscience. So, but look what they did with this right here. Look at this. I, I said that to show you what money does in this country. It's not about justice. No, it ain't. It's not about justice at all. Um, but anyway, the, the family, they, they, they accepted um, what they call that, a, a settlement. Um, and, of course, you get a gag order on you. But, you know, Elder Doug and them went all the way through. You know, it's about principle involved here. It's about principle, and they didn't get anything in any way near that they should have been due. Uh, but at least it did put in the record, public record out there, so that other people who are dealing with Walmart, um, they'll be able to see 
um, the type of rogue, um, uh, I don't even know what you call it. Um, what do you call it? Assassinated, the assassination of truth uh, with these so-called lawyers. It's just sad. It really truly sad. Y'all investigated too. It happened up here in 2008. Just killed a family of four, maimed and injured a whole bunch of other people, and and um and this truck driver was on so many prescription drugs. And I'm gonna tell you what I, my personal belief is that he just I don't know what happened. I mean, but but he did come alive. He come alive after they killed four people and maimed and injured a few people, and and the uh, carnage was just horrific. Um, and oh, and let me mention he was a Mason too. He was a Mason, Freemason. Had a Freemason sign on the side as one, you know, good old boy. Um, as part of plea bargain with the Dallas uh, County District Attorney's Office, prosecutors dropped sexual assault charges against Henson. Oh, Hellison, excuse me. The judge sentenced Hellison to one year confinement in the county jail, but suspended that. See, when you're part of the system, when you work for the system, they are going to take care of their own. Are you following? That's the way it works. She will have to pay a, look, $2,000 fine, which is equal to about one month's pay or a little, a little less. The roadside cavity search was recorded by the trooper's dashboard video camera uh, on July 2013. Makes you wonder how that when these troopers record this stuff, how does it get back out into the public? But anyway, you want to read the rest of it, it's all down there. It's a little lengthy article, but check it out. It looks like so-called, I don't call it justice being served, not at all. Uh, I think the woman had a million-dollar lawsuit in order to really get a hold of them. See, because if you don't hit um, these private institutions called peace officers and, and the counties and all them and the states in the back pocket where it belongs in order to curve their rebellion, um, Y'all in trouble. Everybody's in trouble. Now, this little slap on the wrist ain't nothing. That's just, that just makes it so that somebody else can go out and do something else another day. That's all it is. Uh, but I'll put the link down below for you to investigate. It's just a shame.